Let me ask you something. How would you measure design? Or more specifically, how would you measure the impact of your design decisions on the end-to-end -end customer experience or user experience? How would that work? Now, sure enough, we have all the business metrics, right? All the business KPIs, all the OKRs and smart goals and data analytics and data science and all of that. So we can use that, right? Yes, but how do we apply it exactly? Or more specifically, how do we transform or translate all of those things into something actionable, tangible, practical, something that we can actually use in our day-to-day -day design work? How would it inform and guide our design decisions exactly? Well, we can do that with design KPIs. Over the last couple of years, I was actually really happy to be involved with a number of teams where we actually had to come in and define, establish, track, measure, and improve design KPIs over time. So we actually saw like literally from the very start till the very end, how we actually got better in terms of user experience, in terms of measurable outcome that you would get from trying to meet business needs but also meet user needs. And I want to bring it all together in one brand new workshop that I'm really looking forward to, where we're actually going to dive in into all the fine details of what design KPIs are, how are they different from OKRs and smart goals and all that, or how do they fit together with OKRs and smart goals into what we're actually trying to achieve in the company in the first place. And specifically, we'll be breaking it down into sort of actionable, uh, tangible goals that we as designers can then achieve to move comfortably in the right direction as we are designing. So we'll sit together, we're actually going to go into the mirror board and we're going to break down into teams and we're going to actually look into your projects and look into your issues and kind of your team structure and see how can we define those KPIs, design KPIs that will help and guide you. Because very often you will have very different KPIs for different teams. So if you have a search team, they'll probably be carrying out search. And if you have a product page team, they'll probably be carrying about different KPIs for product page design. So by the end of it, you get a nice toolbox of all the different strategies around KPIs. But more than that, you also get to understand the vocabulary around this business right? and what designers need to know to be able to communicate like what we're actually doing in terms of business goals. And the other hand, also things that like time estimates, how can we improve that? At the same time, how can we reduce the amount of scope changes that are coming in later? So this will be like a really nice package around all the different things and facets that eventually affect our design work. So we can actually move on and really conduct or design or do like our design work in a much more efficient, in a much more comfortable and in a much more confident way. So I can't be more excited to see you there. I hope it's going to be a session of really packed, packed, packed insights that I'm really happy to share and also learn from you. So I'd like to invite you. I hope to see you there. This is going to be quite a something and we'll be doing a lot of stuff to really maybe feel a bit more comfortable when actually deciding whether design A is actually better than design B and how to make those decisions. So I'm very much looking forward to see you there.